Okay, so I wanted to show you guys exactly what is gonna be in my bag that I'm gonna carry with me on the BT Epic, which is a 50 mile bike race that I got entered into. And um, I got entered into it for free thanks to Kuat Bike Racks. And uh, I won a little contest that they had out on Facebook, so I'm super excited about it. This is what I'm gonna carry on the BT Epic but it is also primarily what I carry whenever I go out and do all of my normal rides. So let's take a look at my Camelback and see what all is inside of it and exactly what Camelback I have. Okay, so this is the Camelback that I have. It is fairly old, probably about seven years old. These things hold up really, really well. Uh, this is the Charge Ultralight. I don't even know if Camelback makes this particular model anymore, but what I really like about this model is there is a lot of storage. So if you're gonna be doing any type of bike packing or any type of long events, this thing will hold everything you need. And for somebody who does a lot of YouTube stuff, it's nice to have this storage for cameras and accessories and batteries and all that stuff, along with any of the stuff that I need in case I get in trouble with like a flat or something goes wrong with my bike. So. Just kind of show you guys exactly what all this has in it. The front has this nice pocket in here and uh, it's got some mesh pockets in here with Velcro, a little key holder. This thing has saved me multiple times. And then a big pocket where you can kind of, you can put your phone and stuff. So that one's really nice, nice front pocket. It also has uh, what I call a helmet holder. I don't know if this actually would hold a helmet or not. I've never put a helmet in here, but this thing expands way out and you can unclip it and get even more uh, expansion to it. So this is a nice area for quick stuff. A lot of times I'll throw like a little cliff bar in there or something that way I can easily, easily grab it on the go. It also has a, a little felt lined pocket at the top. I think that back in the day, these pockets were great for phones, but now the phones are so big with like the plus size iPhones and the, the big Samsung phones. They just don't fit in these little pockets anymore, but this is nice if you have something that you don't want to get all scratched up, like you can put a GoPro in here and you don't have to worry about it getting uh, scratched up being in that pocket. Then this is really the big thing right here. This pocket, it, this part of the pack is just gigantic. It's the, it's the main opening. This thing would hold more stuff than what I would ever want to put into uh, this Camelback. So it's super, super big storage area for everything from pumps to, to snacks to extra water bottles if you need it. Um, but this particular pack, it does have a hydration um, area on it, which is nice. They actually put it in the back separate from all of the other compartments, uh, which is really handy because you're not taking up the space that you would use. And it just zips open, as you can see the bladder's in there. I don't have the straw routed because I just cleaned this. Uh, but this thing holds three liters of water. That is more than enough for a super epic long day if you're bike packing. Now whenever I do the BT Epic, I am by no means going to carry three liters of water with me. That is just too much weight whenever you're doing a race. There's no need to carry that much water on a race, especially if it's a supported race like this particular one is. There's gonna be aid stations probably about every five to 10 miles, depending on um, each part of the course. So I'm not really worried about carrying a lot of water in here. I'll probably carry just a liter of water. And then on my bike, I will carry a separate water bottle for quick access. Um, to things like Gatorade or some type of a sports drink with electrolytes on it. So let's take a look and see what all I put inside this pack and uh, what I'm going to carry with me on my BT Epic ride and pretty much what I carry all the time anytime I go out with my Camelback. So here are all of the items that I carry in my pack uh, whenever I go out for any ride and this is what I'm going to be carrying whenever I go on the BT Epic. Uh, first thing is a little hand pump. I no longer carry CO2 cartridges just because I, I found that I have to carry several cartridges because um, I've had them fail on me before and having a CO2 cartridge fail on you and you have no other option is not really the predicament that I want to be in. So I find even though these are a pain, 
these little hand pumps. Uh, they are the most reliable. This one's nice because it has a little gauge on it. This is the Topeak Smart Gauge D2. It basically lets you dial in your um, your air pressure on your tires so you can make sure that you have it at the setting that you want. If I go out on a long ride and say I get a flat five miles in and I've got another 20 to go, uh, what I'll do is I'll pump it up as much as I can with this, kind of over inflate it and this will allow me to release air and dial it in exactly the way that I want. I carry this little uh, handy little wipe, um, kind of a microfiber cloth. I use it to clean off sunglasses and my GoPro lens and my camera lens on my iPhone. I always carry my Run Bike Mic stickers. I have only given away a few of these in the time that I have been doing YouTube stuff. So if you guys ever see me out on the trail, and you see that I have my camel back on, ask me if I have any stickers. I will be more than happy to take the time to stop and give you one. Uh, this is just a puncture kit. It's got a few patches in it, and that way, in case I have to put in a tube, uh, which I always carry one tube, even though I'm tubeless, um, if this tube were to happen to get a puncture, I have a kit to, to take advantage of uh, fixing the puncture on that. Uh, tube. These are bacon strips, but these are actually automotive uh, bacon strips. What I do is I buy the full-size car um, repair kits. Uh, they don't call them bacon strips, but that's what they're known for in the biking world. I cut them in half and then I slice them down the middle and one car strip will get me about eight of these little strips. And I find that these have more tar on them than the ones that are for biking specific. So these things are super sticky and they will fill up any puncture really well. I always carry some zip ties with me. I carry two multi-tools, a Leatherman and then a regular multi-tool for a bike. This particular one's nice because it's got all the Allen keys I need plus a chain brake. Uh, if I need to do that, I've been on one ride where we needed a chain brake and nobody had one. so. Ever since then, I've just always carried that with me. This particular Leatherman I carry, it's just an off-brand, and the reason why I carry it is for this. These little pliers, I needed them on a particular ride, and we had to resort to using two little rocks, and that was not fun, where this thing would have saved us a lot of time. This is everything that's inside my Camelback, and of course I'm gonna carry my nutrition, uh, inside the bag too and I'll talk about that next okay so as far as nutrition that I'm gonna carry with me on the ride I always like to carry some of these little uh, fruit strips I just get them from Aldi um, but I think they're supposed to be decent for you it looks like the first ingredient is like apple puree concentrate I don't know, it doesn't say anything about high fructose corn syrup, so I don't get super worried about all that stuff, but these things are nice because they're 50 calories each, they're super easy to eat, and they're super inexpensive. Uh, the next thing is, I love these little Cliff Bars. They're only 100, they're 100 calories, but they're, they're mini. So you just basically can shove a couple of these in there and they're each sealed individually. And uh, that's what I really like about them. I try to consume on a big ride like this where I'm gonna be riding for hours and hours and hours. Anything over four hours of riding, I typically, for myself, like to consume around 100 calories every 30 minutes just to stay ahead of that curve because eventually you're just gonna start losing so many calories because of the hours that you're out there pedaling and uh, just on the bike exercising. And 100 calories in past um, like ultra events has really helped sustain me and keep me going and allowed me to push a little bit harder towards the end as I got to the end. So these are great because they're exactly 100 calories. Uh, the other thing that I like are these little uh, cliff uh, blocks. They're just little gummy blocks. And if it's not a real dusty day and you don't mind, you can, <laughs> it sounds weird, but you can actually lick the bottom of these or wet the bottom of these with water and you can stick them to your frame and they'll just they'll just stick to this top tube and then whenever you want one, you can peel it off. What I like to do is if I'm in a hurry, I'll pull three of them out because three of them is 100 calories. I'll lick them, stick it to my frame, 
and then eat one and then keep pedaling and then eat another and then eat another. Unfortunately, if it's dusty or rainy, that is not ideal. It does make your frame a little sticky, but in the end, it comes off. It's no big deal, but these things are great. They're, they're fairly inexpensive, like 250 a pack, and you get six of them in there, and they can also have caffeine in it, which will help. I'm also going to be taking uh, one of these GU packs. I don't like using these all that much, but they are a quick burst of energy. They're 100 calories per package, and um, I can only stomach two, maybe three of these, so I just got one for this particular race. So. These are the type of things that I'm going to be taking as far as energy uh, supplements go for the for the BT Epic. Well, there you go. That is my full setup for my Camelback and everything that I'm going to be taking in there and the nutrition that I'm going to be using for the BT Epic. I hope that maybe this kind of gave you some guidelines on what maybe you should or shouldn't pack or if you were packing the right things for your long race um, or long uh, ride. And um, yeah, I mean, if uh, you guys have any other tips for me for things that you would recommend or things that you think, man, maybe you don't need to be taking that, it's probably not necessary. Just leave them in the comments below. And you know what? If you can, get out there and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I try to put a video out every week. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, primarily mountain bike related, but there might be uh, some extra stuff in there for you along the way. And as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. Oh, and wish me luck on the BT Epic. We'll see you in the next one.